Tears are necessary to keep our eyes moist and healthy. The lacrimal gland and other small glands inside the eyelid and on the white part of the eye constantly produce tears to keep the eye healthy. Tears drain from the eye through two small openings called upper and lower puncta, located at the inside corner of the upper and lower eyelids near the nose. Tears move through a passage called the canaliculus and into the lacrimal sac. They then drop into a tear duct called the nasolacrimal duct and drain into the back of the nose and throat. That's why your nose runs when you cry. Excessive tearing is a problem for some people and is due to several reasons. For example, tearing can be due to injury, birth defects, infection, or other blockage of the tear drainage system, eyelid or eyelash problems, infection in the eye, wind, smoke, fumes, or other environmental irritants, glaucoma, where pressure builds up inside the eye, certain medications, allergic reactions, eye strain, dry eyes which ironically can cause excessive tearing, foreign material in the eye, or a scratch on the eye. The causes of excessive tearing are determined through a thorough eye exam during which one or more tests are carried out. For example, the tear drainage system is irrigated with fluid to make sure the pathway is open. Tear production is measured. The eye pressure is measured. The tear drain is illuminated with a fluorescent dye test and sometimes by performing a CT scan. There are several ways to treat patients with excessive tearing. These include surgery to open the block drainage system, surgery to repair the injured drainage system, removal of an interned eyelash or foreign body in the eye, adding a new opening from the lacrimal sac into the nose, the use of lubricating eye drops or ointment, and the insertion of an artificial tear duct implant. Tears are very important to the health of the eye, but excessive tearing is often an indication of an underlying problem. If you have questions, talk to your ophthalmologist.